The four times table. In this short video, we'll go through some tricks to help us remember the four times table. And I'll use this box full of cubes to help me visualize things. So we've got four times table. As the name suggests, we're talking about going four times to get something, the same number of things. So if I put my hand four times in this box and get one of these cubes each time, then I'll end up with four cubes in total. If I put in my hand four times and get two cubes each time, I'll end up with eight cubes in total. So four times two is equal to eight. Four times three is equal to 12. Four times four is equal to 16. Four times five is 20. Four times six is 24. Four lots of seven equals 28. Four lots of eight equal 32. Four times nine equals 36. Four times 10 is 40. Four times 11 is 44. Four times 12 is 48. In other words, this is the same as adding the same number four times. So four times five is 20 because it's four lots of five. So five and five and five and five. But it can also be breaking it down. So since it's four lots of them, I can have two lots of five, which is 10, doubling that to make 20. So I can break the four down into two and two, which is just doubling. So let's say I want to work out four times eight, and I can't remember how to work it out. I could go eight and eight is 16, and another 16, which is 32. So break it down into two. Let's say, for example, this one, four times 11. It's easy to work out 44, but also you can go two times 11, which is 22, and another 22 that gives us 44. So you can do that with any of these times tables and it makes working out a four times table very easy. Another strategy we can use links to the pattern. So we've got four to get to eight, we are the four. To get to 12, we add in another four. And to get to 16, we add in four again. So we add in four each time. So this can help us work out certain times tables. Let's say you know that four times five is 20. To get to four times six, you add another four. So that's gonna be 24. To get to four times seven, add another four. So that gives us 28. Or when you have, and you know four times 10 is 40, Take away 4 to get to 4 times 9 to give us 36. Take away another 4 to get to 4 times 8, which is 32. Or from 40, add another 4 to get 4 times 11. And another 4, and that gives us 4 times 12. Another thing to remember is that 4 times 3, for example, is the same as 3 times 4. So if you find it easier to work out 3 times 4, just work it out and you'd give us the same answer. So four times seven is the same as seven times four. Four times 10 is the same as 10 times four. So now you can go away and write these facts on a piece of paper or a post-it and go over them again and again. Read them out loud till you've memorized them in order.